Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to use the order of operations to simplify this expression. All right, so, so what do we do here? Well, first of all, we've got to deal with exponents. And this exponent, this, this 2, sometimes referred to as square, is squaring everything inside the parentheses here. So if I was to write this out, what this is telling me to do is take negative 3 and square it. In other words, take the negative sign and the 3 and multiply it two times, 1, 2. Then, after that, I'm going to add 4. So I know that 3 times 3 is 9, and I know that negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. So if I multiply these two negative 3s, I get positive 9. And then I add 4. Altogether, this is 13. When I'm keeping track of my rules of multiplication with negative numbers, I think every time I multiply by another negative factor, I switch the sign. So for example, um, here's a quick example. If I have 3 and I multiply it by 3, I get 9. If I have 3 and I multiply it by one negative factor, that switches my sign to a negative. But then if I multiply by another negative factor, so two negative factors, I switch back to positive 9, which is another way of thinking about it. Every time one of the factors you have is a negative and not a positive, you switch the direction of the sign. So with two negatives, we can think of the sign switching two times, from positive to negative and then back to positive. With one negative factor here in the second equation, we can think, well, that's one negative factor, and that switched our sign once from positive to negative. And in the first equation, with no negative signs, there's no changing, and the product is positive. All right, I hope this helped.